Hello. Welcome back to the Bridge to Success Teradata interview series. In this video, we will see some questions, commonly asked in interviews, regarding Teradata architecture and space concepts. You can learn more about architecture and space concepts by referring the Teradata tutorials in the playlist of the channel, or by clicking the link, mentioned in the description of this video. What are the major components of Teradata? The major components of Teradata are parsing engine, binet and access module processors. What is a parsing engine? When a user submits a query, it first gets connected to the parsing engine. Parsing engine formulates the most efficient and least expensive plan, in order to return the requested response set. What are the components of P? Parsing engine consists of the parser, the optimizer, and the dispatcher. What is the function of parser? Parser checks the user access, verifies the syntax of the request, check if all the objects exists. What is the function of optimizer? The optimizer is cost-based and develops the least expensive plan, in terms of time, to return the requested response set. What is the function of dispatcher? The dispatcher controls the sequence in which the steps are executed, and passes the steps received from the optimizer onto the binet, for execution by the AMPs. After the AMPs process the steps, the pay receives their responses over the binet. The dispatcher builds a response message, and sends the message back to the user. What is a binet? Binet is a communication layer and sits between the AMPs and PEs. The PE transmits the plan to the AMPs via the binet. In response, the data that the AMPs retrieve from disk drives, is returned to the PE via the binet. What is the reason for having two binets? If one binet fails, the second one can take its place. When data is large, both binets can be made functional which improves the communication between PE and AMPs, thus fastening the process. What is AMP? AMP is Access Module Processors. It performs the physical task of retrieving the result data. Each AMP is associated with a set of disks on which data is stored. Only that AMP can read or write data from the disks. It's responsible for aggregating columns, lock management, sorting rows, join processing, output formatting, disk space management, etc. What is a V-Disk? The storage area of each AMP is called as Virtual Disk or V-Disk. What is a node? Each individual server in the Teradata is referred to as a node. Each node has its own operating system, CPU, memory, own copy of Teradata RDBMS software and disk space. What is a permanent space? Permanent space is the space used by the actual table data, secondary index subtables, fallback table data, and permanent journals. What is a spool space? Spool space is the disk space that is used to store a subsequent queries intermediate and final result sets. Users without spool space cannot execute any query. Spool space is allocated from the unused perm space on a Teradata system. What is a temporary space? Temporary space is the disk space that is available for use in global temporary tables. It is allocated from the unused perm space on a Teradata system. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and share the video. You can view more videos in the playlist of the channel, or click on the links mentioned in the description below the video name. Also, kindly subscribe the channel.